another episode of Vet Talk. This is your boy, Brother Vince. Um, real quick, I'm not going to go through a long spiel, but what I want to do real quick is I wanted to take um, you veterans and military personnel who may be getting out and may be seeking help as far as for your claims. I want to take y'all real quick through an actual example of how to ensure that your attorney claim agent and VSO representative is certified by the Department of Veterans Affairs. I want to take you through real quick and give you a, a live example of that because the other day me and my wife was talking and she asked me if I gave a step-by-step -step of how to ensure that this um actually goes down. Um, and like I explained to her, I did a video, which I'm going to put in the description so that you can go back over that video and see exactly, um, the gist of everything that I was talking about, but only on this video, I'm just going to go through a short, brief example of it so that you can see, um, who certified that to assist you, um, as far as with your VA benefits and, um, Okay, on this screen right here, you can see um, that they have um, an accreditation search. And here you see they say search for attorney, claim agent, veteran service, organization representatives. And up here, you can click either on attorney, claim agent, or VSO representative. And if you already have one, you can click their name in here with their city, um, state, and zip code. And you can click search to find out exactly who they are or if they're certified. And if they're not on this list, um, like I stated in my previous video, I think that's a lot of times why now veterans are having a hard time getting um, what they're due because they're being helped by people who aren't certified by the VA. And from what I'm hearing, I can't say that I have this in full proof written black and white paperwork, but I've read some things in groups. I'm seeing people being constantly turned down. And from what I found out that there's a secret list out there of organizations that are no longer recognized by the VA. So that could be the reason why a lot of your cases are being turned down because um, one little quick story, I was trying to start a program called Vet to Vet, which allowed me to help veterans apply for their benefits. Me and my wife, because we both are veterans, we have gone through the process from me going from 90 to 100, her going from 10 to right now, you know, potentially 100% disabled. Um, As far as like us, we helped other veterans I know have gotten 100%. So we wanted to extend some of our services and we wanted to basically help veterans achieve the same thing that we achieve or we have helped other veterans achieve. And when I went to go do this, um, there's a process that you have to go through. You have to be, uh, you have to get a congressional letter from a congressional recognized organization such as DAV, Wounded Warriors, and other organizations in order for you to be able to carry the name VET. That's why my stuff say V3T, not VET. Because when I tried to apply for the uses of the name vet or veteran for my organization, I was turned down. And the reason why I was turned down was because they said that I was offering to help veterans, but for a fee. And this was a no-go. And the reason being is because there are a lot of veteran organizations out there that are doing things for free, such as DAV, Wounded Warrior Project, you know, um, and many more that are out there, um, they, they believe because of these programs being in place, um, that veterans shouldn't be charged for their benefits. Well, for me, I kind of felt like that was a slap in the face because here it is. I was charged as a veteran for services that were rendered to me to help me go from 90 to 100%. So at the time, I didn't think it was wrong, but I found out that it was a cease and assist order that was put out that they didn't make, they didn't make it public about it, but they put it out. And I think that's the reason why a lot of veterans are having a hard time even um, being, I guess, um, being helped or receiving their just due for them and the injuries and different things that they suffered during their time in military service. Um, so right now what I'm about to do is I'm about to put 
the state of Texas in here, and I'm about to show you what happens when I push search. I want to show you the list of congressional recognized organizations, accredited organizations in the state of Texas. If your company is not in the state of Texas, or if they are, let me just say, that if they are in the state of Texas and their name is not one of these companies right here, then that can be pretty much the reason why you aren't receiving the help that you need as far as the VA saying, yes, you're service connected because of these issues that you have going on. If these organizations aren't representing you, aren't helping you with your stuff, when you turn it in and another name is on it, this could potentially be why. Because this is the list of accredited VSOs, offices. You know what I'm saying? If they're not listed here, then potentially that's why you're faced with the dilemma or the situation that you face with. You know, um, I'm going to show you, you know, the um, the attorneys in the state of Texas, um, just so that you can get a brief idea of what I'm talking about. This right here, all the list of all the attorneys in the state of Texas. This is the list right here. If you're being helped by somebody and their name is not on this list, that can be potentially the reason why you're not receiving what you're trying to. Here it is. I'm going to go to state of Texas claim agent. I'm going to click on it. These are all the claim agents. This is the list. The list is short. So if you're applying for your VA benefits and these people name not showing up, then it could be the potentially reason why the, the reason why you're not, you know what I'm saying? Getting the results that you're looking for because when, you know, they're offering something for free and you're being charged for it to these congressional recognized organizations, that can be a slap in the face for them because they're looking like, okay, well, here it is. You know, the government is paying us to help our veterans out. And yet our veterans are being charged by someone else. And that can be potentially the reason why you're, you're, um, you're in that situation to where you turning in your paperwork and you get denied or you might have got approved and then now they come back and they deny it. And it could be potentially because of this situation. And all I want to do was put the information out there to help you out. I'm not trying to gain no monetary compensation from you for this, because, again, as I always say, someone else gave me information for free and they taught me what I needed to know. And because I have a heart of gold and I want to help other veterans, I've um, tried to do different things in the background um, with Vet Talk, for Vet Talk. And I got the door slammed in my face plenty of times because of just the lack of understanding of certain things, of how things work, you know, understanding the congressional part of things as far as being recognized. And I do want to, you know, put a disclaimer out there. I'm not um, affiliated with the VA. I don't represent them. But what I do do is the great things that I personally experience and I know about, I put that information out there because I want to make sure that, you know, as veterans, we can weave through all of the fluff, all of the, you know, extra information, because I know a lot of times I don't want to hear all these long, you know, um, death by PowerPoint spills about this and that. So sometimes I just try to cut around all of the extra fat. Even though I like a little fat on my meat, I try to cut around a little bit, all of that. And I just get straight to the meat, to the nitty gritty, to the things that we need to know. And I just put it out there. And I just wanted to do that real, real, real quick with y'all. So as always, you know, this has been another episode of Vet Talk with your boy, Brother Vince. As always, my audience, my people, Vet Talk out. <laughs>